An album's cover can be just as iconic as the music behind the art, but if you're going to use someone else's design, you should probably pay them first. But Lil' Kim seemingly didn't get that memo and is reportedly facing a $150,000 lawsuit because of it. Brooklyn's Queen Bee posted this picture back in November on her Instagram account and various other sites to promote her single Dead Gal Walking. She even threw her own copyright logo on the image. The problem is, according to Canadian makeup artist Samantha Ravendahl, this picture was essentially stolen by the hip-hop starlet. Ravendahl posted the same picture on her account along with another photo of the makeup art from a different angle in early November. According to TMZ, when she asked for some sort of payment for the images used by Lil' Kim, she was given the runaround before being told by Kim's people, quote, we work slowly. Owen, oh, don't go looking for the supposed stolen artwork. It has since been deleted from Queen Bee's IG. But getting sued by artists over artwork is extremely common, from music to movies. NYC band Vampire Weekend was sued in 2010 by the Contra Girl, also known as Ann Kennis. Kennis eventually settled with the band, allowing them to keep their distinct cover. The price of that settlement wasn't released, but the original suit was for $2 million, so let your mind wonder. But $2 million is a drop in the bucket compared to the lawsuit leveled against the highest grossing film of all time. Artist Roger Dean, who created this album artwork for English rock band Yes, sued famous filmmaker James Cameron and 20th Century Fox for a staggering $50 million over the images in Avatar. And Dean's suit doesn't stop with one check. He wants a cut from any sequels as well. Cameron is accused of willful and deliberate copying of his artwork to inspire the Avatar world. The James Cameron case, as well as the suit involving Little Kim, have not yet been decided. For Spin Media, I'm Jamal Andrews.